Yo, what's up? Uh, I stopped vlogging uh, for a while because I decided that I would only vlog during international trips around the world. Uh, unfortunately, can't take any international trips with a U.S. passport because COVID-19, lockdown, quarantine, etc., etc. Anyways, uh, so most of my time is spent here, which is the Not So Fresh Podcast Studio, aka which is a garage now since we moved and sold the other house that had a separate studio in it. Anyways, uh, I'm just gonna shoot this vlog just for the hell of it, just because I haven't done it in a while, and maybe you know show you the new habit or I guess a uh, little thing that I picked up during quarantine, started learning. But this is the uh, area where we record the podcast now, and uh, it serves the podcast room. Muay Thai gym, Lake or Kobe uh, Shrine, I guess, and then you know a Dotson. Uh, little garage so anyways uh, this is what I have been working on lately picking up this thing and creating beats on all of this and then you know trying to mix it up and do some scratches over it but anyways uh, let me go ahead and just uh, start on trying to update what I've been working on so let me try to make one and see if I can cut it up and do it some justice all right hold on check it out this is uh, my little workstation set up for doing design work over here on the iMac and on the MacBook it is what I use for beats and I started well, I think about a month into quarantine I busted this out of storage and decided to start learning how to use it finally from the podcast DJ Sona Jarrell aka Jose Chavez Dr. Jose Chavez uh, gave this to me for my birthday four years ago never try well, I try to learn it and it seemed kind of weird so I started uh, reading up on it, watching a few YouTube videos, and just learned the basics and started pumping out beats. Basically, it's made maybe 25 so far <laughs> during this quarantine, and that's uh, without trying to do it all the time. It's it's pretty hot right now in San Diego. So here, everybody knows what this sounds like. This is a classic track sampled by plenty of well-known producers. So, you know, you kind of listen to it, you see what part of the song you want to take. For example, that bass line comes in pretty heavy, so you know, you want to kind of keep that. Just all preference. This is what I do for fun now. So each pad has its own sample on it. So, I'm going to try to lay it out.
Take me, take, take, take me, take me to the jump. Oh, you know what time it is. Time, time. Rooftop, diamond, diamond in the back, diamond in the back, diamond, 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 diamond in the back. Show rooftop. All right, so mainly I was just playing around with each uh, and every different sound. For example, I have the main drum kit that I was using to drum out beats, the Cool in the Gang sample for Summer Madness that I was just kind of like playing melodies in it. With that, it's kind of just you know, it kind of sounds cool no matter what you do, as long as you're doing it on key and on on beat. Uh, it's kind of hard to not make a decent beat after you learn just the basics add a little bit of a bass line that's pretty simple um that's just whatever rhythm you want to rock to and of course a little bit of sound effects to add on uh besides the sample because the sample is so heavy with uh sound that those like stand out but you also want to throw in some effects that are from the sample to kind of differentiate it for what other uh, producers may have used like I said, it's kind of like designing. I come from a design background and you work with layers and different things that you could change your opacity on visually. You could change uh, sonically, uh, for example, through the velocity. So anyways, I'm going to put it together and then play it and then you'll see it kind of the end of the video. It's just going to be me putting stuff together very quickly anyways. All right. <laughs> Diamond in the back, diamond, 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 diamond in